Hey, what is up? What is going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this cool background glitch effect that uh, J.R. Ali used in his New York Don't Blink video. So I'll show you the clip right here. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool effect. So let's hop into Premiere Pro and I'll show you guys how to do it. So I've got my clip right here that I'm going to add this background glitch effect to. And this is literally the only clip I had that was sort of like a portrait clip. So um, it's quite zoomed out. So I'm going to crop in a little bit. So if we just place it like this so I don't have to add too many markers. So the first thing you want to do is grab this clip right here press option and drag it up and duplicate it. So now that you've done that, if you click on the top clip, we're gonna come over to the opacity in the effects control, click on this little uh, pen thing, I guess, and then you basically just wanna mask all around the person. So I'm gonna speed up right here and quickly do this. Also, another thing you can do is when you get over to the shoulders, what you can do is you can click, hold and drag it and you can make it carve around. So It'll be a little bit smoother. And the same again with the helmet. As you can see, it's curved. So I'm just going to drag this and make a nice curve and then do the same here on the other side. Curve it around. It hasn't got to be too perfect. We can always add another marker in. Drag this bit out like this. So yeah, it hasn't got to be completely perfect, but yeah. Okay, so now that I've added this mask around my friend Josh, what we're going to do is you're going to notice that it's obviously, let me just really add a marker here. So if you we flick through, uh, it kind of stays in the same place to be fair. So I'm probably not going to worry. I'm going to keyframe it a little bit. So if we come over to the mask, click on mask path, and then what we can do is just keyframe it. So it sort of stays in the same place. Obviously, the more movement, the more keyframes you have to put in. So a shot with less movement is going to be much easier to do. So I've added one keyframe at the start and I'm going to flick through till it sort of moves a little bit. And I think I can just get away with moving the mask a tiny bit. That should be fine. And then again, flick through, move the mask a tiny bit again. And I think that should be fine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the glitch effect in the background. So you can either use some glitch effects you already have in Premiere Pro, or you can do what I'm going to do and go into After Effects and get the best out of this. So what I'm going to do is just copy this bottom clip right here, just like that. I'm going to hit right click and then replace with the After Effects composition. <coughs> Okay, so now that you've opened After Effects, we've got our clip right here. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to this preset pack that you can, you have to actually pay for it, which kind of sucks. But I am pretty sure this is the same preset pack that uh, JR Ali uses. So if you want to get basically the exact same glitch effect, then I'll leave a link in the description and you can go and buy this preset pack. I'm going to be using this preset pack called Handy Seamless. And if we double click right here, open it up here, we've got this thing called Glitch. I'm going to drag this down, we've got all these different glitch effects. So I'm gonna use this displacement block one. If we click this down, we've got all these different options. What I'm gonna do is probably just pick this medium one, click down again, and we've got all these different settings. So with all these little dots, you're gonna be able to change the, the length it's on for. So I'm gonna have it at about three, and then all these ones are a little bit different. Maybe we'll put it on about five. So then you've got from numbers one to five, and basically, they're all just a little bit different when they glitch, so I'm going to just click on number 3. Come off this, and we've got this glitch effect right here. So if I just chuck it there quickly, and hop back into Premiere Pro. Okay, so now we're back here in Premiere Pro, your glitch effect should look a little bit like this. So as you can see, it's pretty similar to JR Alley's. Um, Obviously, you haven't got to go into After Effects. You can use any sort of glitch effect. So yeah, guys, it's as easy as that to add this glitch effect to your video. Hopefully, it helped you out. If it did, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, let me know. Peace out.